Sunday in Parliament. Historic? Yes, historic, but unfortunately for all the wrong reasons. A dubious record. What really happened? Number one, 9.30 this morning, Rajya Sabha started discussing the two farmer bills. Three and a half hours were allocated for these bills, 9.30 to 1 o'clock. After that, what happens before a bill is passed? Members, any member, can move a resolution seeking that the bill goes for further examination to what is known as a parliamentary select committee. So many opposition members, well, I certainly had a resolution saying that this bill should go for further examination. Bills ought to go for further examination. That is a parliamentary parampara. But this was an ordinance, emergency legislation, and the BJP track record on ordinances is really bad because they want to use this excuse of emergency, uh, emergency and then push through ordinances. So there hasn't been any scrutiny of this bill. I'm not getting into the merits of the bill. Yes, Trinamool Congress, we have a strong view on this. Many other parties have a very strong view that these are anti-farmer bills. That's one aspect of it. What happened today? Because I'm hearing a lot of people from the BJP saying opposition doesn't understand democracy. They don't give a good. They don't have a. They don't regard democracy. This is the facts of what happened today. So at one o'clock, little after one o'clock, when these bills came up to be voted upon, opposition members, including me, we have a right to move our resolution. And what does the resolution say? Is that send this bill to a committee. Then the person sitting on the chair says yes or no, there's a voice vote which happens and then the person on the chair says that the government always wins. That's correct, that's the way to do it. But when an opposition member, even one opposition member asks for a division, what does that mean? That means it's that opposition member's right then there will be voting, actual voting, not just the voice vote. So today, there were four members who had put in these different resolutions, mine was the first, where you ask for a division, ask for a voting. The chair has to grant you that right. All we are saying is that vote. So maybe... Today the electronic voting wouldn't have voted, so today you would probably have to buy paper slip. Now today, unbelievably, that right was taken away from the opposition. That's a serious breach of a parliamentary rule, a parliamentary tradition, and a parliamentary prison. I mean, it's like literally taking parliamentary democracy and shoving a knife into it, killing it. And then the bills got passed in the voice vote. So you don't expect the opposition to sit down and eat lollipops while this is happening. We protested. Everybody. Interestingly today, there were two or three political parties and that's their right. Normally they've always been voting with the government but today the Biju Janta Dal and the TRS from Telangana and the Biju Janta Dal from Orisha, also in their speeches, they also wanted this bill to go to the committee. So were the government not sure of their numbers? If they were so sure of their numbers, they could have allowed us to have the vote. And by the way, I want to tell you, the chairman of the Rajya Sabha, the Honorable Vice President of India, called me to his room this morning and said, what's the story? And I did tell sir, bring the bills, we are going to go for the vote, we are going to move our resolutions, go for the vote, and then whoever will win, will win, whoever has the numbers. So opposition was deprived of this basic right. That was huge. There's another matter, of course, 
that these bills haven't gone for any parliamentary scrutiny. We can have another debate and tell you all about that, how these bills are not scrutinized at all. This is a new system of parliamentary democracy, no scrutiny. There's another system, only ordinances, emergency legislation. So today, this is what really provoked. So the people who are saying today that opposition did not respect democracy, why was this done in the first place at 110 or 105? After that, the opposition was in the well of the house, there were protests, there was a lot of heat. Yes, two or three opposition uh, MPs uh, broke a microphone. What do you want them to do? Sit on their seat and have lollipop. Extreme situation comes for extreme form of protest. What are we talking about breaking two or three microphones? Break in. When the BJP is actually breaking the very backbone of our parliamentary democracy. So this was a protest. I was part of the protest. Of course I was. And even if I tore the rule book, what rules are there? There are no rules left. But, let me make that clear. I did not tear a rule book. I know I did not. But even if I did tear it, I have no regrets. I did not tell a rule book and this is the last point I want to make. How the BJP tries to manipulate the media. So out went the news because the book was there, not torn. I was showing the book. Yeah, tomorrow if I need to tear it, I will tear it. I haven't still torn a book. But I will tear it because there are no rules. Then the news goes out that, oh, one MP has torn the book. No, I did not tear the book. Then the news goes out, by this, by this time we had realized the Rajya Sabha television was being censored. You are censoring your MPs, you are censoring your elected representatives. What happens to the poor people, the common man on the street? Censored. Thankfully I have done enough television before, so I know what an online switch video is. I was looking at those four cams and all those four cameras were showing Lok Sabha. Where are MPs, Rajya Sabha MPs sitting in Lok Sabha and one close up close up of the deputy chairman sitting in his chair. So that's the time the MPs also have to think. You can't write your own rules for democracy. Yes, there are rules you shouldn't be shooting. You shouldn't be shooting in the house. You shouldn't be shooting in, uh, shooting in central, uh, central hall. So, well, we won't let you get away with it. Of course, there were two, three opposition MPs who took out their phones and I told them to, sh I told them to shoot. I've done television. You want to suspend me for that? Suspend me. What is a suspension for me? Suspend, suspend all of us. We shot it, we got record of it. And then the news goes, Derek wrote a book. No, Derek didn't tear a book. Derek's father worked in a publishing house for 45 years. I could have done other things, but never tear a book. If somebody else tore it, good for him, good for her. Because there are no rules left. Yes, the opposition shot pictures. We took video. Yes, we took video. You try to rewrite the rules of democracy and you try to rewrite the rules of parliament and you think we'll be sucking lollipop. No. We took you on today, not for ourselves. Young people of India, this is what we tried in our little way. In our little way. To fight for Indian parliament. To fight for those farmer bills. To fight for the rights of an opposition small thing actually what we did today when I come to think about it. Come home now, I mean, a lot of people saying that, you know, opposition really fought for the right of democracy. Yes, Mamta Banerjee, 26 days, hunger strike, risking her life, putting her life at risk. The 2006 farmer protest. We shall keep fighting the good fight. Jai Hind.